Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. This video is about a horse that we rescued at the end of last week. Um, there was a horse at Bowie Texas Livestock that popped up on their website and uh, I just couldn't let her go to slaughter. So of course I discussed it with Corey and the board members and we decided to go ahead and rescue her. These are a few pictures of the mare that we rescued along with her video from the livestock yard. We have lot number 9937. This is going to be a sorrel Belgian mare. She stands at 18 hands and is 18 years of age. Really gentle mare we've got with us today. She is super easy going. Nice big mare right here. And as you can see as she walks out, she is going to be a little sore to that rear end. She is a very, very quiet horse. She's gentle. She is easy. Just a big, good minded horse. Now, she does have some sores on her. I'll show you here. You can see some rub spots. Top of the head, down the cheek. Uh, she has just a little old ones here on her sides. And it's like she kind of got down and was in a bit of a jam. But um, other than that, she's a big, quiet horse. She's gentle, she's easy going. If you'd like to help her out, she is with BowieTexasLivestock.com. You just click go to our horses. You'll see her listed on the transport. It is available main route to California, Kentucky, North Carolina, California trip is going to be uh, in just a couple of days. If you need on there, you just call us. We're sure we'll get you taken care of. Once again, 9937 with Texas But it does look like she has an issue with her back legs. Uh, not sure if it's arthritis from age or just being used as a Amish workhorse. We're not entirely sure what she has going on there with that leg. And the scars on her face, um, I, I don't know what the scars on her face are from. They look relatively new, I can't really tell. The big black spot that's on her backside, I contacted them and they said it looks like an oil spot from driving in the trailer. I don't know if I believe that because it's a round circle. <laughs> and so I'm not really sure what she has going on with that backside and what that big black spot is on her backside. But uh, we have arranged to go pick her up at the end of this week. And we also have arranged to get her to the vet's office as soon as possible um, when we go to pick her up. Uh, we're either gonna pick her up on Thursday or Friday. We're trying to figure out Corey's work schedule right now. Um, so as soon as we get her picked up and get her to the vet, we'll definitely have an update on her. Again, we need your help and your support to save this beautiful girl she is going to need medical attention uh, we're not entirely sure how much medical attention she's gonna need and then transport and her bail uh, we had some money left over um, in the foundation's funds to pay part of her bail and Corey and I picked up the rest but we could definitely use your help and your support in rescuing this beautiful girl um, her bail was $1,200 uh, transport will probably be, uh, Corey and I are going to go pick her up, so transport should be roughly between probably around $300 for fuel to go pick her up. And then medical expenses, we don't know exactly what those are going to be, but roughly with x-rays, usually in some medicine that we need. Um, obviously, she could possibly have an infection, so we don't really know what type of medical treatment she's going to need, but usually uh, the first initial visits are usually around $500. Um, depending on how many x-rays they do or if they do x-rays, it could be upwards to $1,000 for vet bills. So um, new rescues like this, especially ones with medical conditions or concerns, um, can be quite pricey. So again, we could definitely use your support. And if you want to make a tax deductible donation to the Big Hoof Foundation, she is our seventh rescue. I can't believe she's our seventh horse that we've rescued now under the Big Hoof Foundation. Um, just in this short amount of time, we've rescued seven lives. And um, to me, what was just talk and 
a dream, a pipe dream that we thought was a pipe dream has now turned into reality. And uh, we're so incredibly grateful for all of your support and everyone's comments. I do try to read through all your comments uh, and try to answer them, but taking care of all the horses and everything else here around the farm, it time, gets a little bit time consuming, but I do try to answer as many <laughs> as I can and I will, I will keep working through all those comments because we do appreciate them and we do appreciate your love, support and kind words. It, it, it means the world to us. So again, if you want to help her uh, with our new girl, we'll have some more information on her after we pick her up, and I'll definitely have a video on that. Um, again, you can make a tax-deductible donation uh, with the following link to the Big Hoof Foundation. Uh, again, we still have a temporary website because the website's not up for the Big Hoof Foundation yet, uh, and that temporary website is on Fletcher Farms Amarillo. Other ways to support us if you don't want to make a, a donation monetarily, uh, we also do need feed for the horses. Hay prices continue to go up. 21 bales of hay uh, right now is $321, um, and every time we go to go pick up more hay, the price keeps going up. So uh, horses go through right now, since there are 13 of them, the horses right now go through about just about three bales of hay per day. Um, you can see that the pasture is starting to get a little bit greener, so they do have uh, somewhere to go out and graze. So everyone that says we live in a barren desert, it is turning green, summer is coming. We did get some rain the other day, so that's a good thing as well. But um, if you want to support us by um, sending us feed or hay, you can do that through HFNC Amarillo. They're our local feed store and they support us. And they've supported us all along the way from the start of just Fletcher Farms Amarillo and they've supported us and continue to support us. So we will continue to support them in any way that we can because Susan and the staff down at HFNC is just absolutely amazing and we don't know what we would do without them. Um, other ways too, I did add some additional items to our Amazon wish list. Since this horse, uh, since this is an 18 hands horse we've come to realize that those horses need uh, larger halters than the rest of the draft horses that their heads are just a little bit bigger so we learned that when we rescued Liam uh, so I did put some halters and some other lead ropes on there probiotics and some other medical supplies I put on there uh, for her as well so if uh, if you check out our Amazon wish list there are additional items on there that were not on there before so Again, thank you to everyone that has sent us gifts of Alpha Pro through HFNC. Uh, we've received two pallets of Alpha Pro, obviously, that we go through that really quick because we're feeding 13 horses and they go through about 175 pounds of Alpha Pro per day. So it's a lot. <laughs> but we appreciate everyone's support and thank you all so much for all of the generous gifts that you have sent us. Um, I did want to mention, too, somebody had sent us a gift uh, the other day with two bottles of fly spray, some electrolytes paste and uh, probiotics and the um, fly spray had leaked and I couldn't see the gift receipt so I wanted to say thank you to the person that sent that gift um, I apologize for not sending you a thank you but uh, I, I, I don't know who that was from so just wanted to say thank you and we do truly appreciate that all of your gifts have been absolutely amazing and it helps us out so much and helps us to uh, helps the horses as well so we really thank you thank you all so so very much we truly appreciate it but stay tuned for more updates I will get out another video on um Lena and Dutch, those were the two horses that we rescued after we said goodbye to Lucky um, from the funds that were left over from his fundraiser for his medical treatment. Obviously, since we didn't go through with Lucky's medical treatment, we rescued two more horses. Um, so I will do an update on them. Uh, lots going on around here. Liam gave me a heart attack the other day, so a video coming out on that too. So everyone, stay tuned. We've got so many things happening around here and obviously rescuing another horse. Um, Obviously, these things wouldn't be possible without you and your support and all of our subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. Uh, keep the comments coming, and we do truly appreciate your support, and thank you so much for watching. We will see you soon. Bye.